What's happening, people? Johnny Styles here directly from the Redcon One Studios in the office on a Saturday, and a beautiful Saturday here in Boca Raton, Florida. Um, not the way we all expected a Saturday to do. I was I woke up really, really happy because I was gonna do a lot of content for the Wellness Observer Live, a lot of videos coming up. A lot of cool things that I have in mind. And very, very, very early in the morning, I got the, like the worst text somebody can get, especially from, you know, in the industry. Nowadays, when I get a text from somebody and it says, you know, did you hear so-and-so passed away? Usually, you know, you're like taking back for it. And um, not anymore, not anymore. It, if If this happens, you see a name it's probably true and when i saw this name popped up i completely lost it and um it's taking every ounce of my being for me to do this video because a lot of you have been asking me about tribute videos and you know in reality i have so much footage of Sean in and out of the stage that I'm sure I'm going to do something cool. But right now, I, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Um, very early, you know, the news passed that Sean Roden has passed away at the age of 46. And um, it's very tragic. It's very, very tragic. Um, you guys have seen, you know, if you thought, you know, my relationship with like you know, Rich Piana, Luke Sandow, George Peterson, you know, those were close friends. But I think from all of them, I, I traveled the world more with, with Sean. And, um, you know, we were really, we, oh, it's hard. It's hard. We were really tight. And um, this morning, Manager Matt, which also traveled the world with us, um, he sent me a text saying life is precious. And uh, it really is. It really, really is. It is November 6, 2021. And Sean Roding has passed away. I met Sean in 2014. I was with him and Chris Cito. 2014, 2015, 16, 17, 18, when he eventually won the Mr. Olympia competition. And, you know, it was me, Chris Aceto, and Sean Roden, which we traveled from Vegas to San Marino, San Marino to Prague, Prague to Dubai. We did all the shows. And we had a blast. We 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 had good good times. Um, Sean, this is this, this is a video that I'm doing. It has no script. It has nothing. It's just me trying to express whatever comes out of here, because this is by far the hardest one to take. Um, we just saw Sean. We just saw him four weeks ago. We spent time, we ate together, we talked. My last text from Sean is him congratulating me on stepping on the Olympia stage, giving the wellness award at this year's Olympia. And it's hard because you go back and see these messages and people are no longer here. And he was here. If you go right now, at the moment I'm shooting this video, if you go right now on his Instagram, he still has stories up. You know? Life is really, really, really precious. He did text me like a, a month ago saying that he was 305. And when I saw him in the Olympia, he looked fine. He looked happy as always. His smile, his, his typical self. Nothing seemed wrong with him. Absolutely nothing seemed wrong with him. It was always fun to do a show with Chris overseas, even when um, even when we won, we, we had fun. And when we lost, we had fun as well. Sean was never 
he never he never had a problem with losing. He always said, smile and wave. That's all you have to do, Johnny. You smile and wave and move on to the next one. There was a judge that blamed me and Sean for altering video on the tour. And that's why Sean looked better on video and never in real life. And uh, we, we, we always count it as a joke. You know, Sean wrote in HD. When he won the Olympia, I was there. When he won the Olympia, you can see the video, the first high five he gives on stage as I'm reaching out. It's my hand. It's me. I I was at the press pit, kind of, and then I just ran over. I didn't care because it was just so, so emotional. You know, it's, that's your friend. <laughs> you know, that's your friend that beat the unbeatable Phil Heath, which so I consider my friend too, but... You know, he he beat Phil, and um, we were all really happy. We were all really happy. <laughs> it's it's almost unbelievable because even when he won the Olympia, he was still saying "smile and wave," you know. And um, he was so happy to be involved with. You know, he supported the whole wellness thing since 2014. When I talked to him about it, we had him in our wall back in the RX Muscle Studios, in New York. And um, we even did a show in Puerto Rico, an NPC, uh, Flexitron Roden Classic, and um, Carlos Rodriguez was there. And, um, yeah, it's it's one of those things that, you know, there's videos of him in Puerto Rico that's hanging out and just having a good time. Um, this is by far, by far, the worst year in bodybuilding. The worst year. Um, we've lost John Meadows. We've lost, which, listen, we've lost John Meadows, which I consider him a friend. We could always talk, we could always text. He loved to train. You could always go to John for anything, and he would never have said no for anything. Then we lost George. And you guys know that I was I was living in New York. I was doing George's videos as well. And that was, that was hit hard. I was on my way to shoot George at the Olympia. Okay. I was on my way to shooting George Peterson at the Olympia when all this happened. Out of nowhere. Then we, was, um, we lost somebody here that's close to us. He's a local NPC competitor, Troy Farmer, which loved bodybuilding. He loved it, and he also passed away. And now we have Sean. It's hard. It's hard, especially when these people touch you and when these people have some kind of involvement in your life. It's hard. It's a hard pill to digest. He was truly looking forward to coming back on stage somehow, some way. He had that fire in him especially like one of the last talks we had he was more than happy to be training he's in vegas he's with flex you know he was more than happy to be there to be to be you know back in the game sort you know you can call that and this happens um i really don't have much else to say although that he always had a smile he wasn't i never never saw sean mad no matter what happened i never saw sean mad i never saw him mad i was there when he lost an olympia and then went back to the hotel room to eat his bowl of oatmeal like nothing like nothing smile and wave Smiling wave. Um, that's, you know, if you go to um, Fuad Abiyat's Instagram, he posted a picture back in the SciTech days, which, you know, I was part of that too. And um, SciTech sponsored rxmuscle.com. So I had to do the, the packages, the promos for, and it was him, Cedric, Max. And, and Fuad did a cool caption that really like struck, struck me. Um, he said, and I quote, I love this lifestyle we lead, but after John Meadows passed, and since then, two more have gone. 
It's getting harder and harder to love. I'm not sure what that what I'm saying or what that means. It's just getting harder to defend. Those are some really strong words from Fuad Aviad. And um, it's almost getting to that point as well because it sucks seeing your friends just go out of nowhere. And it's not cool for your friends just to pass away. He was 46 years old. He has a beautiful daughter. He he loved her. He be, did anything. That's like a little Sean. That's like a mini Sean. He took her to Puerto Rico. He, she was at the show giving trophies with us, you know? So in reality, you know, people are going to start speculating this, that, and the other. And in reality, you know, the fact of the matter is that's it. He's gone. He's not here with us. And it sucks. So life is precious. And, um, you know, one day we're here, the next we don't know. So if you have somebody, just reach out. You never know. You just never know. You just never know. Um, I love Sean Roden. I still do. <laughs> I have, I think, you know, I'm not sure, but I think I have the most extensive library of pictures and videos from Sean that uh, I don't know if any other people have that. But if they do, hey, so be it. I'm sure I'm sure some people are going to start doing their motivational videos on YouTube and all of that. And, you know, I'll do mine when time, when time comes. Um, uh, it's hard. This year alone, believe it or not, this year I've done three videos, three tribute videos to people that I know. Three people, okay? The last one was insane. And, you know, for people that don't know what we do behind the scenes, it's easier to do a tribute video on somebody that you're not close with than to do a tribute video to somebody you're close with. And I know Aaron liked them a lot, and we go way back since our, our ex-muscle days, and it's just a very, very sad day for the bodybuilding and fitness industry. I just wanted to come here just because I needed to say all this. You know, don't expect me to put up a tribute video today because I can't. It's way too hard. It's way too hard. Um, if you have pictures of Sean, just put him up there because he would, he would never say no. He would never say no to anybody. Um, as far as the league, you know, and everything else, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, people speculate, but I don't think nothing's going to change. You know, it is what it is. Um, all the older guys, 38, 39, 40, 42, 45, I think they're starting to think a little bit more. I think they're starting to, you know, put into consideration what's going to happen five years from now, 10 years from now. I, um, I, I did a post the other day about, about the women, the women that are drastically changing with all the things that they have to do. Yeah. You probably look great now. You won't probably look good in, in a few years or, you know, it can damage, it can damage something that, you know, you can probably bring back. I'm trying to think before I leave this video, I'm trying to think if I'm leaving something out about Sean, if, if I leave something out, then I'll probably do another video and I'll do the whole tribute thing. But if you ever were there and you met Sean Roden, you know that he was one of the very best in the world, not only on stage, but off stage. He loved his people. He loved his fans. He loved his haters. And more importantly, he, he always smiled and he always waved. 
So without um, further ado, thank you for everybody that's reached out. And thank you to all the fans worldwide. Um, I know people close to him are, you know, they need their space. And we have to give him that space. He was always very nice, very polite. And he was always, you know, Sean Roden. We will always miss him. We will always be there thinking of him and remembering, you know, easy. He left as the <laughs> like last video we did together. I called him, you know, the undisputed, undefeated Mr. Olympia because he is the undisputed, undefeated Mr. Olympia. So I don't know. It would be cool now. Probably if, if Phil came back and just beat him, beat everybody and, and like <laughs> In Sean's memory, how cool would that be, right? But um, yeah, smiling wave. If that's the message I can give you guys up there about um, about Sean, it's smiling wave, smiling wave. No matter what in life, just smiling wave. And um, I will try my very best to smiling wave during this critical hours of the day and the night and so forth and so forth. So, yeah, thank you guys for listening and stay tuned because, you know, if you're not following Redcon 1, follow Redcon 1. Um, Wellness Observer Live, you can check all the wellness news over there. You can check my own personal page here or on Instagram. Um, this has been Johnny Styles and um, may Sean Flexotron Roden um, rest in peace. I even sent them. Um, I even sent um, Flex Wheeler a message. I said, um, and I was touring. I never saw Flex Wheeler when he was in his prime, but um, I saw him after. But Chris Aceto did. And um, I remember telling Chris, like, Chris, is, is Sean, like, the closest thing to, like, a Flex Wheeler? And, like, in a second, in a flash, like, Chris Aceto said, absolutely, Johnny. This is the closest thing this generation is going to have to a to a flex wheeler. So I texted that to him and, and um, it was pretty cool because um, right now flex wheeler is in the hospital bed. And um, I hope that put a smile on his face too. All right, guys, this has been Johnny styles. I love you guys and um, stay safe and um, we'll see you guys later. Take care.